<laughs> there we go. It's just a minor nuisance. I'm just trolling. <laughs> Some minor trolling. A uh, locked door, eh? Aha! My old passageway. That was easy. All right, testing this. Ah, doesn't work. Someone load it. I cannot load it. Let's see if he'll give me permission to place TNT. Oh, baby. That would just be amazing. <laughs> yes! Oh, my God. All right. They have certainly crossed the Rubicon. They're, they're willing to OP me now, just the low TNT. Then they'll OP me later. <laughs> uh... This should be good. This should be very good. Yes, one step at a time, people, though. I could ban them all and just start griefing the shit out of the server. Won't be able to do anything. Let's see, that iron guy, he seems to be uh, the owner of the server. Through some uh, minor questioning, I was able to find that out. So, if I'm able to... Oh, my God. So, it, you know, if I'm able to do this, then I should be, in theory, able to ban everyone. Um, as long as Iron, the Iron Man isn't around. And if he's if he isn't around, then, you know, the, there's nothing that's going to be there to stop me. The only one able that's going to be able to stop me is that guy. And he's, he's not going to even be there. So... I'm getting a lot of options here, a lot of options, but um, you know, I don't want to just get banned right away. <laughs> I'll think of something. All right, for the meantime. <laughs> oh shit! Let's watch this guy. What the fuck? Nothing. Right now, I'm building a lighthouse for them. Again. I'm building up the trust. It's all part of the plan. And trust me, I always have a plan. I don't just, you know, go in and just randomly do things. No. No siree. Step one is always to gain their trust. Always. Actually, step one is to scout out. But but here it is. Here's, here's the lighthouse I built for them. It's a light that mostly rotates, but, uh, you know. It works for the most part. <laughs> Take a look. Take a look at the lighthouse. As you see, I have this circular redstone repeater thing that just moves around and activates whatever it has to. And uh, it's part of the magic, I guess. This is all a ploy to build their trust. They're like, man, this is amazing. Look. Oh my god, how does it work? Magic. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. All part of the plan. <laughs> all the Evans love it. They love me. <laughs> yes. It's a pretty neat looking lighthouse. Gotta love it. Oh shit, this guy's getting suspicious. What video were you watching on YouTube when you came across my server? Uh, I can't remember. Of course I can because it was my video. He doesn't know of my channel. I can't. I can't mention anything. Uh, I can't mention uh, anything about my server. So, I mean, as long as that's good. I mean, I have like four hours of griefing. Uh, <laughs> so that's not good. That's not good at all. 
that's no bueno it's roughly about 20 percent of my videos 23 23 percent something like that 20 percent that's a lot so we got to keep that on the DL yes yes <laughs> they love me now <laughs> I am a trusted member <laughs> it was so easy just a few hours just a few hours it's too easy I'll come back next week and build more trust more trust they give me I mean that's that's how it works <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. But I mean, it's it's the kind of I mean, she made this maze and I solved it in it took her 3 hours to build this maze and I solved it in, you know, 5 minutes. There's a trick with every maze. If you take your right hand and put it on the wall and uh just just keep, you know, moving up and following the right hand side of the wall. Just hug the right hand side of the wall. Your maze uh you'll solve the ma maze. You'll get out from uh you'll go from point A to point B and and you know, you will never get lost in a maze ever, ever again. All right, next week, we'll see what happens. So I've come in the server. It's uh, Sunday. It's the next day, and uh, I come to find out that uh, someone has broken to my mega trampoline. Now, I don't care too much because this is a temporary thing that I'm doing. But this is something of interest to me. I'm going to see if I can try to get someone to take the heat for this nonsense. So there's Iron Legs. He came in and he's looking around. And you know, I'm fixing stuff, so I'm legit. I look legit at least. Right now I'm about to troll these people. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Little did they know. I don't know anything. Uh. <laughs> ah. Yes. <laughs> they don't know any better. Yes. Now this crystal fellow made this piston bridge. I mean this uh this trap door bridge, but I mean it's <laughs> I've easily defeated it just by moving on the sides. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright. I make I'm making them feel bad. I gotta build this person a, a bridge made of pistons instead of trap doors. Uh, right now I'm getting some information off of them. Uh, let's see, they're most vulnerable during their school times. Uh, I know they're young people. Uh, for now they think I'm a 16 year old kid from New Jersey, which I am clearly not. But it's it's all part of the game. Gathering the intel is, is half the battle. I mean, if, you, if I know what times they're vulnerable at, then I can... Um, I can attack them. So 245. Let's see. What about you, Crystal? Koopaloo 69 is one of the uh, admins. And right now I have to gather some information. Uh, Crystal is a 17 year old girl. Uh, interesting. Interesting. That means Poop Loser. So Poop Loser is seven. <laughs> Everyone's 17 years old for some reason. Irons, uh, 17, boy, 14, uh, okay, same school, same school, 245, 245, uh, neat, alright, six hours, so if I just, and they both, and they all live in Indiana, Indiana, alright, now if I just, now if I just, um, do a little friendly math, I can find out what times they're vulnerable at and uh, work that with my school schedule 
and <laughs> and find a way to attack them. This will be very moist. This is very moist. <laughs> moist. Very moist. Hello there, everyone. I built them this uh, lava bridge. It's pretty neat. It works well. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out that I found out was that these door protections suck ass. You can actually build, you could actually uh, destroy the blocks around it and go around the door, which I'm not going to do right now, but uh, believe it. As you see, I've made another shooting range. Uh, if you press this button, wait a few seconds, you see the villagers pop up. Now the left side is for player 1 and the right side is for player 2. If we move up, we'll see that the range has been increased, 20 more blocks. And again, you push the button, wait a few seconds, and the villagers pop up for you to shoot. It took me about, uh, about an hour to make. And the reason I do this is to build even more trust. I mean, look look at what I've built in the server. This massive uh, vertical human launcher, cannon, this rotating light lighthouse, and the shooting range. Now, this Poop Loser 69 is a target uh, for one of my future griefs. Now, he likes to harass users on his server, especially if they, they're new. He likes to turn invisible and uh, mess around with their shit or rain TNT from on top of them but I will use this to my advantage and I will corrupt the minds of his uh, his fellow fellow admins to believe uh, what uh, what I want them to believe and uh, how am I going to do that well you'll see that whenever there's a question to be answered people uh, people you know you can tell them an answer that sounds good and they'll believe it even if it's not true, <laughs> even the mere suggestion—it's like a—it's like inception. It's manipulation at its finest. That's what it is.